Hi, Neil Evans here with the Harkin Tech team. I'm here with Jeremy McMahon. We're going to talk about Mark IV furling. Hey, Jeremy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us what your role with Mark IV was. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Jeremy McMahon. I'm an engineer at Harkin, been here for about 10 years, and I was project manager for the Mark IV Ocean project. We're here to compare Mark IV Ocean and Mark IV to one another. Let's start with a literal look at them, top to bottom, starting with the foils. So we've got here, the first foil is the Mark IV. It is a double groove foil, which makes it easier for use in racing. So you can raise and lower different jibs and do some jib changes. Um, as you can see, one of the changes we've made on the Mark IV line recently is we've changed all the foils to black. As a comparison to the Mark IV Ocean line, these have a single groove because cruisers don't necessarily always want to change their jibs as they're sailing goes up once and probably stays there for a long time. And they also are a round foil shape, which gives a nicer furling aspect for those big cruising jibs. Now that we got the foils out of the way, let's talk about the head swivel and the differences between the Mark IV and between the Ocean. So this halyard swivel on the Mark IV, you can see is a little taller. What we have in here is four rolls of ball bearings, which gives it an, a little bit nicer efficiency when you have the high uh, jib halyard load that you'd probably see while you're racing. And in order to bring down the cost a little bit for the ocean version, we have two rows of ball bearings. Still strong efficiency, but we don't expect the cruising fleet to be using such high jib halyard tension. One of the misconceptions we get from time to time is that we've removed the independent lower swivel from the ocean line. Jeremy can explain this has an extra set of ball bearings, which makes it more efficient, but that still swivels around. This does swivel around. One of the big differences, if you look through the middle of the halyard swivel here, is that it's a round shape inside. And so this whole swivel actually spins around on a journal bearing around the round foil section for the, for the cruising the ocean version. Whereas if you look through the center of the Mark IV, it is the shape of the foil, which is one of the reasons we need a separate swivel. Now that we've covered the halyard swivel and we're working our way down the foil system, let's cover the foil joints. The foil joints are very similar and our intent was to keep them as such so installations are very similar from one to the other. Um, one thing you'll note with the Mark IV is that there's fasteners both top and bottom, four of them. There's a bushing system, both A and B, which allows you, because it's a C-shaped connector, to put it on an existing head stay without having to re-splice and feed connectors on ahead of time. The Ocean has the same set of fasteners. It only has one bushing, again, versus a bushing on the top and the bottom of the Mark IV. And the Mark IV also uses an adhesive to help keep it together. So now that we've covered the top, the connections, let's keep working our way down. Let's start talking about the feeders. There is a difference between the Mark IV and the Ocean feeders, obviously because one, there's twin grooves on the Mark IV and there's a single groove on the Ocean series. Uh, the Ocean series you'll notice is kept in with four screws on two tabs on each side. Whereas the Mark IV is a single screw on a cast feeder. And the intent is, is that one's never coming off. There's nobody's gonna be doing sail changes with that. The Mark IV though, because this is a twin groove sailing foil system and it's geared to the racing market, is the intent was to make this a removable feeder so that the swivel could be lowered below the feeder so that if a person's intent was to race that day, they could simply remove the feeder lowering the halyard swivel below the feeder, reinstalling the feeder. Once the feeder is reinstalled, now you can use it as a racing head foil for the day. So if you have a weekend regatta, say like a nude regatta, you can do head sail changes up and down the course, the end of the, the, end of the regatta, remove the feeder again, raise the halyard swivel back up, and install your uh, roller furling sail. Now that we've covered the feeder, let's move even further down. Let's get to the actual lower units in the meat of the furlers. Back here we have both a Mark IV Unit 1 and a Mark IV Ocean Unit 1. 
As you can see, there's not much visual difference between the two of them. There is obviously a different decal on the top of the unit, distinguishing what model you have. Jeremy, why don't you run through the two different the differences on the two units? On the Mark IV, we have a different uh, torque tube cap compared to the Ocean, and this is because we need to fit the foil shape itself. We actually share the same torque tubes, the same guards and covers are all the same, so that helps us with efficiencies in manufacturing. But as you can see, we have a um, different tack swivel on the Mark IV versus the Ocean version, and this helps with uh, efficiencies and you know sail shape a little bit for the racing version. Um, you know, maybe you can explain a little why that's important. So one of the reasons we have an independent on the Mark IV and why most of our Mark series have always had an independent swivel mm -hmm. is for that racing sail aspect. Whereas cruising sails are built to four roller furlers where they're, they have a foam loft or they're structured in a way that allows the belly of the sail to furl in first flattening the sail without reducing sail area. High performance race sails and more performance based sails aren't structured that way. They're looking for optimal efficiency and sail shape. So what the independent tack swivel does is it allows the, sail, the head and the tack to kind of lag behind, furling the belly of the sail in first, flattening the sail without really effectively reducing sail area. Uh, whereas cruising sails can do that with their built in shape. So underneath the, this tack swivel, we have the same covers, same guards between the two units. We actually have the same inner race in, in both of them, which gives us the same bearing system for, for the furling. And then all the way down at the bottom, which we don't have here, the mounting system to put the toggles on is the exact same because it's the same inner race. And so that gives us efficiencies in manufacturing, helps us reduce the cost. There you have it. Mark IV Ocean and Mark IV how they're similar and how they're different. I'm Neil Evans with the Harkin Tech Team. I'm Jeremy McMahon. Let us know if you have any questions and we're out of here. We're out.